Yes, 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 yes. Guys, yes. Holy crap. I was getting so nervous that I wasn't going to get anything. I mean, I'd prefer the shield, don't get me wrong. But it we... drops three items. Two of them I'd be more than happy to get. And we get a fucking Ketom. I'm, oh, I'm raging. I am fuming about that. That is right next to an, an unlock we already have, the Agility Pyramid. No, uh, but it is Draenor, which definitely connects to a lot of stuff around here. Always use protection, guys. Before we get in today's video, let's talk about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. I often get asked if I use a VPN, and the answer to that is, of course. Everything I do and everything I've built is all centered online, and frankly, I'm not going to leave my fate up to chance. So if you want that blanket of protection between yourself and people with malicious intent, doesn't matter who these people are. It could be people trying to sell your information to companies. It could be hackers trying to steal your password. It could be somebody trying to DDoS you. It could even be for yourself if you want to browse privately, if you know what I'm saying. So if privacy is very important to you, ExpressVPN can be that first step that you can take to help protect yourself online. How ExpressVPN works is it encrypts your network data and reroutes your connection through a server location of your choice. And privacy isn't even the only thing. Sometimes your location can be holding you back. I love Rick and Morty, but I don't even have access here where I currently live. All I have to do, change my location to the UK, and bam, there it is. ExpressVPN could give you three months free by just clicking that link down in the description. That is expressvpn.com slash rarg. Thank you once again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Hey everyone, welcome to episode 21 of the PvP challenges. As you all know from last episode, we got put smack in the middle of the desert, but it connects to our, and I'm going to say it, giant landmass. I know you guys love that saying. Now, when we come up, it connects all the way to Martania, of course. Oops, so you know we're going to unlock one, two, three, four, and then five up there. These four to connect me completely to Martania to get to Barrows. And this one, because it, it kind of doubles as an unlock towards the um, animal magnetism quest for the Abyss Accumulator. And it kind of, I mean, honestly, the real reason is to get closer to Fossil Island. So those are my six unlocks and Barrows is completely viable. But to make it even more deadly, Shades of Morton quest must get complete. So that's the first thing we are going to do. Why? Because it gives us a telly to, you guessed it, Shades of Morton. And my XP dumped it all into defense. Every last drop, specifically knowing that Barrows is going to be the move. 35k away from 70, unfortunately. I'm a bit annoyed now because if I would have won that fight, um, I would have been 70 already. But we can't let things hold us back, so let's smash it, guys. So we just tell you at home. Funny enough, we actually need five fire making, so I'm going to do that really, really quick. Maybe we could just burn those logs. Honestly, I think that's what I'm going to do. I, o I only need five. Legit, I'm going to light all these logs, guys, and top worlds and just get five because five should take absolutely no time at all. Then we're going to get all the materials needed for the quest and just walk down there and uh, smash it out. Let's hope there's people doing it today. I know for Shades of Morton, it's much easier with more people, so I hope it's even possible. Haven't done that quest in so long. Already three? Honestly, I didn't expect it to be that quick, but... Then again, it is fire making. One of the quickest skills in the game. What's happening, Bees and Jays? Welcome back to the Chunk Progression PvP Challenge thing. Uh, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, I will leave a playlist up in the top right corner just here and in the description as well. So give that a click and it will get you caught up to date on everything you might have missed. 
I got myself a Draenor as my chunk. And the chunks I'm going to be opening up are this one here for Fairy Tail. Uh, this one over here just because I need to get... Uh, Camelot unlocked at some point and start working my way over there. So we're gonna do that Then we're gonna unlock these two so I can do nature spirit and then of course barrows I spent my 300 K XP and I put it in to range 71 range I put all 300 K into it 71 range is what we ended up with um, I did want to put a bit into defense, but I had to I had to go with it I had to go with the 71 range. So that is what we got up to um, Let's get into the episode. Let's fire into it. So I think I can be really cheeky here. There's a spade spawn here um, And when we get spawned into a chunk, we can't actually leave it and I can't get out of drain or I can't get out of here to go to my bank and get a spade um but for fairy tale, you need to dig up this grave, and I'm wondering whether I can do it before I even start the quest. Oh my god, you can. That's amazing. Because of how our chunks are structured, I can't actually get into Draenor. Um, and I would have had to unlock the one underneath to do fairy tale, but luckily. Oh, I'm so happy with that. That's actually 200 IQ play there. That's an actual 200 IQ play. It means we don't have to go to Draenor now when we do the fairy tale chunk. I am over the moon. Over the moon. Or the fairy tale quest. Boom. Let's get out of here and let's do uh, what we're going to do today. The first thing we're doing is we're going to be doing the restless ghost because it is a prereq to everything we need to do. So, get it done. Super quick quest. And then I think we're going to go and do the Ardy Diary. Just because uh, that teleport uh, on the on the cape and it being so close to a fairy ring that when we do have um, fairy rings unlocked, it will be a really quick way to get back and forth between barrows. Um, and I think it's going to be huge having that telly on your back constantly. Yes, please. Absolutely love this boat. Shortcut. Okay, we are, we are all geared up and everything. Um, so let's just smash this quest out as fast as possible. I'm also going to try to melee everything this episode. Well, aside from the Barrows Brothers specifically. But everything else, I'm going to try to melee even though I know it's slower. Because barrows is pretty pointless if i don't have 70 defense and i'd rather just get a few less chests done and 70 defense than get a barrows piece that i can't even wear and this was the method that i missed out on right here that's an incredible incredible low level uh, method to training herb lord because ashes are so easy to come by but herb lord doesn't really matter too much anymore unfortunately <laughs> so it turns out this place is absolutely popping i need 10 percent uh sanctity to use the olive oil on the flaming altar sacred oil isn't this like a money maker uh thought it was a bit more expensive than that but hell yeah that was incredible um until 20 sanctity oh i have to go back okay well you know what we we have the sacred oil now which is awesome i think we're pretty much done i think i have to use this on here put these on here light it up light this motherfucker on fire it is 2k herb lore as well 2k crafting don't really need those now i'm not gonna waste any time my dumbass forgot teleports uh thankfully we actually do have cannabis unlocked so i'm just gonna take this boat back real quick and not uh think about it my home telly was used of course at the start of the episode um so let's get out of here and let's gear up for barrows guys because we can tell you right back here hands off my boat what Ultimately, my method is the method called waste as many prayer pots as humanly possible. Uh, because, of course, we have unlimited prayer pots. We just bought a bunch of fire runes. Only 205 death runes, but we should get those back with relative ease. I hope so. Um, so if everything goes according to plan, we should be smooth sailing for Barrows the entire episode, which will be really, really, really hype. Now, getting back here is extremely easy, as you guys are seeing. That teleport I can use every 20 minutes. So, as long as my trips are at least 20 minutes, I should be fine. With all these prayer pots, I don't have to worry about um, getting smacked out by, by any of these Barrow Brothers. I just will pray on everything, because it doesn't really matter. So, that's the beauty of having all these prayer pots. So, let's waste no time and begin. I thought this was the case. <laughs> just by complete chance, we're doing two quests that require the same, like, head, you know? Like, that is the same model, just recolored slightly, you cheeky fuckers at Jagex. 
re- they love to reuse their uh, their models. They really do. There we go. One thousand one hundred prayer XP and the goat speak amulet. Boom. Um, I think we're gonna go do the RD. Um, Diary, as I said, actually, let's go this way. It'd be quicker. I don't know if it'd be quicker at this point now. Yeah, Ardy Diary. I want to get that out of the way. We've got everything we need for it. Um, I sort of did all the pre-rec stuff before um, in earlier episodes. Like, we got the the rusty swords, etc. Um, because I knew I'd want to do it at some point. So, we've got everything locked down. And it's just a case of doing it now. And I think we also... Yeah, we've done, like, half of it already just playing so shouldn't take long right this is gonna be the rd cloak took a little bit longer than i thought but uh you know worth it worth it in the end yes please boom we are gonna put this into prayer because i gotta start getting on that prayer grind and there we go the rd cloak we can now telly here which is awesome so let's go on and uh, do all the quests we need to do so that we can do fairy tale one slash two all right, this should be nature spirit completed. Boom. The grotto is going to come back to life. And there we go. 3,000 crafting, 2,000 hit points, 2,000 defense XP. Very nice. Now we can move on and do fairy tale. Now this could be make or break, guys. We need a really good three items here. Uh, these are three random items from a list of about 30. I looked into it. I can get most of them. But there are one or two that I can't. Here we go. Come on. Give me good items. Good items, please. What did we get? A pair of secateurs, a slimy eel, a bunch of grapes, and an uncut ruby. We can do all of that. Yes. Oh, yes. Awesome. Okay. We can get all of those. Lumbridge, bunch of grapes. We've already got uncut ruby. I've already got. We literally just need to go to Lumbridge. Uh, let's just home tally it. Let's do it. Uh, or just send the send the uh, Lumbridge tally. Oh, I'm gassed for that. On my hardcore, I got it. Um, and it was some horrible, horrible items I got. So I'm very, very happy about that. Right, I fucked up a little bit. And you actually need 28 fishing to be able to uh, catch the eels. So I just quickly did that. It's taken me like 20... Oh, man. Like 20-ish minutes. That's annoying. Okay, I knew it was going to be slow. I knew it was going to be really slow using the rune scimitar on uh, the little guys in here. Like skeletons, I'm definitely not gonna attack. I knew it was gonna be slow, but I didn't know it was gonna be this slow, to be honest. It's pretty slow. Don't know what I was expecting, though, with 50 attack. 50 strength, wow, 35 strength. Oh, maybe it's not worth it. Ah, fuck it. I'm going against what I wanted to do here, but I forgot he drains your strength level, so, okay. Sorry, guys. If, if we get an item, we're gonna have to do some training this episode to to wear it because yeah it's just gonna be too hard i'm a little nervous because going forward i feel like it's gonna be an rng battle now i'm gonna shoot for around 88 percent but i'm not gonna kill myself over it either all right first chest no but you know what we need deaths and chaos because we ultimately want to collect as many as we possibly can to sell to the Tazar shop so we can get the Abbey shield because that is how i plan on getting an Abbey shield so if we're not going to get a barrows piece Death runes and chaos runes are definitely what I want to see. Definitely what I want to see. Oh, there's a D imp over there. But I told the Bs and Gs, so someone's going to get it. But I can't get it on this account. I'm over here to actually grab some monk robes. And I also just healed myself with that monk over there. You know what? I have two of those in the bank. So we'll just do this. And that is more than fine. Okay. And now we go back. We, our, our teleport should be there. And we are golden. I've never actually killed the same brother twice in one run. I mean, it happens all the time if, if you just run past a brother um, and he spawns in the next room. But um, I know, obviously, this is gonna increase my chances at a Barrow's loot, but I am curious to see if my reward potential goes up as well. It does. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. I mean, it's probably usually not worth it, but cool little fun fact. All right, chest number three, bolt racks. What was my percentage there i don't think we'll ever need these but we'll of course stack them just in case all right let's loot the chest chest number four coming up nothing death runes though we were getting close to running low there so i guess that's a, that's a that's a good sign fairy tale is uh, gonna be very close to being done and then we just got to start fairy tale too 
and fairy rings are unlocked, which is pretty huge. And uh, you know what? I, there's no way I'm not going to go send some Barrow's chests as well with hopefully two-ish hours left. And what I'd love to see is to get a drop, whether it be a range or a melee drop, just one of the two, because then I can actually work towards it. Like if it's range, like imagine we get a Carol's top or something. Oh my God. Like we get to Carol's top, even a bottoms, I don't know if I'd bring them, but it would just be such a huge upgrade, you know? And we'd be able to wear them instantly because we have that 70 prayer, uh, prayer uh, range, you know? So, yeah, I'd love to see it, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we got loads of money. We've got like over 100k at the moment. I've got death runes in the bank. We are set to go. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. If we get some melee armor, then it is going to be a case of... Oh, there was one here. There we go. Um... It's going to be a case of... Did I bring the bait? Yeah, I did. Oh, thank God for that. It's going to be a case of having to get 70 defense if we do pull something. But that's even if we pull anything. Because uh, I don't know if you guys watched season two, but I think I went 180 chest dry or something on tank legs. So, uh, yeah, it's 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 painful. I don't want that to happen again. Sounded like I was choking up there. I just sort of, you know, choked. Right, guys, the Tangle Root fight. We can't use the super attack, super defense, super strength. Um, they are only for the fight. So that's why I've got normal um, attack and super uh, or strength even. Uh, yeah, I don't even know if it works against Tangle Root, the strength part. Because um, it goes off your farming level. The damage is off your farming level, so I'm not 100% sure if that helps, but thought I'd bring it anyway. Uh, yeah, we can only use those for the fights so that we're just not spamming. Um, you know, I'm not going to lie. I wanted it. I wanted to be able to use them in the uh, in the challenge time, but Kin said, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to go melee or not, and he didn't want me to have that advantage. So for all of those who are like, oh, Link always decides the rules, I, I don't. You know, Kin said that, and I was like, fair enough. No worries, man. So, yeah, it's actually uh, Kinos who blocked us having the uh, the supers, the cheeky little fucker. Um, but, yeah, I mean, super easy, boss. We've got the prayer pots. We've got, <laughs> you know, it really really doesn't need anything else uh, said about it. So this will be the end of the quest, and then we just got to quickly do a bit of fairy tale too. Um, and then we will be done. And then fairy rings are unlocked, and we have a super quick way of getting to Barrows. We've got the telly out, the bank near... A, a, a prayer refill. Oh God, it's all coming to it's all coming to plan now, bees and G's. I'm telling you that right now. And hopefully, we can pull a Carol's top. Would be that. That's what we want to see. That would be the one. All right, here we go. This is chest number five, I think. Chest number five. Come up. Oh my gosh, you fuck it. Oh wait, this isn't that good. Maybe you guys a tank body with range. Oh my god, I can't wear it. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Let me tell you out. Oh my god, I need to bank anyway. I gotta think about this. Oh shit. Shit. Let's get let's get up the fucking wiki. Hold on a sec, guys. Um negative two ranged attack. Oh my gosh. I think ranging with this. But I only have green D high chaps. <sighs> oh no, 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 no. This is a very weird item to get. Oh, gosh, no, sorry, I fucked up the timer. I mean, it's still going down, but you guys couldn't see it. I was looking at- you can see the barracks, oh my god. Oh, shit, 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 okay. Uh, I gotta really think about this now. Right, well, I mean, if we get, like, Carol's leather skirt now, that- that's a setup and a half. That would be a setup and a half. I could also be mage hybrid with this. Only negative six magic attack. Uh, which is massive for a fucking plate body, essentially. So, yeah, crap, crap, dude, right. That's such a weird item to get. I really don't know how I'm gonna handle this. There's gotta be some weird strat that I could do that's gonna really, really help in these fights. Um, if it was like a Varric skirt, that'd be a lot more straightforward of a plan, you know? Because then just keep the red dehyde body, wear the skirt, same with the helm. But the fact that it replaces the red dehyde body is what makes this tricky. Unless I just did the same setup, but like tank maged. Oh, I can't go that way. Damn. Um, but like tank maged. That could that that could be a move. And only negative six magic. I don't know though. It's definitely tricky. By the way, I'm going to buy some food. Um, some of the um the gnome food because it's really cheap and I'm out of food in the bank. Um, so don't worry, still barrows the rest of the episode, or so I thought, I still have to freaking train, and XP is so slow. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna do barrows for the next, like, 51 minutes at least. I, that'll definitely take under two hours to get. I just don't know if, I don't know, I don't know now. Crap. 
have a freaking rune scimitar still, which is the problem. 50 attack and 50 strength aren't exactly the fastest levels to be training with. Question is, can we get the back to back? I'm going to say yes. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> oh, no. I jinxed it. That's the worst loot we got all day. 6kc, though. There we go, guys. 3,500 farming XP, 2,000 attack, 1,000 magic, 18 farming coming in there as well. I don't think that's going to be very useful. We sort of had a pact at the start of the series that we said we wouldn't really touch farming unless it was completely necessary because obviously we need to get episodes out. And if you're sat there waiting for like a tree to grow, and you're like, sorry, I can't film right now because I've got to wait 16 hours for a tree to grow. It's a little bit inconvenient to the schedule. Um, I probably actually need to start the quest right back there. So let's just quickly do this. This? Or do we start it again? I think we start in uh, Draenor again, don't we? Where am I going? Start quest? Yeah, Martin and Draenor Market. All right, let's go back to Draenor and let's uh, get our fairy ring unlocked. I think this is going to be it, piece of G's. Configure. And there we go, V's and G's. We have access to the fairy rings. This is what we're going to be using. So we're going to be teleporting here. Um, and they're just running over to Barrows from here. And obviously, every time we're done with Barrows, we can teleport to the monastery an unlimited amount of times to this cape, get our prayer back. And then there is... Oh, shit, I don't have that chunk open, do I? Ooh, okay. That changes my plan slightly. But probably not massively. Yeah. I probably could have done without doing this chunk and doing the Ardy Cloak, but that's okay. Okay, I've worked out my route. I'm going to be home teleporting with runes every time. Um, and then we'll just run to the Wizard's Tower. Um, and we'll use the Draymond stuff there. I don't have it on me. Uh, but there's a fairy ring right there. So with the home telly to Lumbridge, we can get our prayer back at the church. Um, and then we can just run here and grab ourselves the... Uh, the the telly i think that's probably for now it will probably be the best but i'm sure i'll refine that while i'm doing barrows and i'll have a proper think but i just didn't want to waste time sitting around thinking about the best way to do it just wanted to send it i also need to buy a few more fire runes so that's why we've got 10k and i'm just gonna yeah buy some fire runes and boom we're good to go also guys kins is currently live he's streaming and he's at barrows I've worked out what world he's in and we've hopped to it. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna do Barrows while he's live and just see if he realizes or not. And uh, yeah, he's on his 2005 iron. So I think that'd be quite funny. If he realizes, I'm not that bothered because we're gonna he's gonna know in the reveal anyway that I went to Barrows. So yeah, this could be quite funny. We'll see if we get the reaction. Alright, I think we're coming up on chest number seven. Okay, we did need those death runes. We did need those death runes. Oh, all right. Chest number eight is coming up. Chest number eight. Can we get lucky? Can we get lucky? 88. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Teleport. 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 <sighs> I'm not melee based. Ugh. What's the negative range on here? Sorry, it's, it's, it's gonna fuck up my timer again. It's gonna it's gonna fuck up my timer again. Oh my god, 132 fucking range defense, 120 slash, negative 10 range attack bonus. I might just say fuck it. Holy shit, guys. What the actual fuck? This is kind of pointless. I mean, I can't wear that either. I can't wear any of this. What? Wait, guys, oh, guys, 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 I just want, like, legs or a helm, but, I mean, I'll gladly take this as well. I might have to fucking go melee now, dude. I, well, not this fight, you know, we're still rocking the 50-50, but, oh, shit, 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 shit. Jagex, you won't do it again. You won't do it again. You won't. You won't. Okay. <laughs> oh man imagine imagine it happened again guys it's going to it's going to you just wait and see i am calling on mod ash directly for this chest mod ash no bad no no i can't complain all right so we're not going to get any extra reward potential this time around because i am about to die we have 12 hp uh, please kill it. Okay, that's ticket in. Only 66%. That's fine. Do we get an... Dude, what? What? 
We already have that. Who remembers when this thing was the, like the most prized possession in all of Gilanor way back in the day? The Guthan Spear was like the thing to get. I mean, I'm, I'm still happy I got it because if anything, that's an elk. How much does this even elk for? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It elks for 60k. I'm probably never going to use Guthans on this account. I'm never going to get full Guthans on this account anyways. What? That's crazy. That is crazy. I, I, I mean, I wish I could say I was excited, but I'm kind of not. That That's still wild, though. I can't believe that. I'm also going to be doing um 100% uh, potential because then we have a higher chance of getting the uh, the Dragon Med Helm, which would be a really, really nice upgrade. It'd be so nice to get it passively as well. Um, so we will be going for that 100% every time. Um, and that those odds go up even more when we get that Elite Clue. I'm sure we'll get an Elite Clue. I think I got... I think I got it last time we did this on the season two. So yeah, that dragon med is something I'm going for as well. So uh, that's why you'll see the potential up at 100. Kins is in the crypts right now. I am watching the live stream as we're going. He's got a few people. Oh, we're lagging. He's got a few people following him as well. So I, maybe one of them will realize. But uh, yeah, this, this should be funny. Anyway, let's put on Ivan's. Okay. I didn't bring a spade. Thank God they provide them here. And I'd like to pretend that this is going to be hard, but it, it's really not, is it? Like, it is, it's so, so easy. Uh, so, to be honest, guys, I'm just going to show you the chests, but we're going to hit like a truck. This is going to be super easy. We got unlimited prayer pots. I do want to save them because we will be going out of the crypt. Oh, will I? I don't know if that saves time or not. Maybe I'll just be tallying. I'll see. I'll do a couple where I don't. Um, telly out and I'll do a couple where I do and we'll and we'll sort of assess what's quicker But uh, yeah, I'll just show you the chests and hopefully we can pull something today. That would be awesome I'd be so happy right first chest on the account. Come on be give me the spoon feed <laughs> Oh Team rug how angry are you right now team rug team link how super satisfied are we? <laughs> oh it's a great, it's a great one. All right, fuck getting a hundred percent. Uh, fuck getting a hundred percent. What's it called? Potential. We don't need the D med anymore. We do not need the D med anymore. We're one in. We got a Torag's helm. Let's go. We don't have seven E defense though, so we can't wear it. We won't be wearing it to the fight. But oh, I'm buzzed. And here we go, guys. Chest number two. Can we make it back to back? No, we can't. But we will pull. Some chaos runes there, which will help towards funding more runes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport to Varrock and then run to Edgeville um, is what I'm going to do. And seeing as we have unlimited prayer pots, there's literally no reason not to just, you know, I don't need to bother with an altar. I need to just get back to a bank and then use a fairy ring. So we're just going to use that one. All right. As you guys know, we've been getting pretty lucky on the Barrows gear. I want to try to bring that Torag plate body to the fight. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do it just yet because like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't fit my combat style at all. And I really don't know exactly what I am going to do yet, but I want the option to do it. And this one isn't combat XP. And I really want to make sure I have it for all the fights going forward. So we have our attack potion, strength potion, a lot of prayer pots just to just keep attack and strength up the entire time. And we're pretty much just going to go to sand crabs because we unlocked it that one episode. Thankfully, I thought I'd never use it. I was thinking about still going to the to the baby reds to maybe get bruise and stuff, but it is pretty rare. And the XP definitely takes a hit here. We could just literally focus on getting 70 defense nothing else and then ideally i'd like still some time to do barrows afterward i just didn't want to do it last second to stress myself out we forgot to replenish prayer and hp here but that's fine there's a bank right down here and um yeah we're just gonna grind it um ultimate strength and incredible reflexes the entire time potted up i'm hoping to get high 20ks in terms of xp per hour I might be overshooting that a teeny bit, but we should have time left over is the point I'm trying to make. So still will be Barrows, hopefully. And I'm going to find a nice spot and I'm going to train and I'll get back to you guys when I hit the uh, 70 defense, which is pretty hype. Maybe 75 combat as well. 
Okay, I just want to say that I'm literally getting over 30k XP right now per hour. I'm getting like 33. This is ridiculous, guys. It's going to happen much quicker than I anticipated, so... Oh, everything's looking okay. Everything's looking okay. We'll have a lot of time for Barrows. This was crazy fast, guys. The pots, the prayers, 70 defense. I don't even want to kill that last one. Fuck it. I'm off. Wasting no time. 56 minutes for Barrows. Fucking say less, guys. I'm, I don't know what it was about sand crabs, but it just got me hella motivated because it was such fucking boring content to do. Right, let's gear up. Let's waste no time. I'll see you at Barrows. All right, here we go. It's another chest. And what are we going to get? <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Um, drop that. We'll take the coins. I'm actually, we're going back out because, uh, I think it's going to be quicker just to run out. It, this took me so, so long. Where's my, where's my ladder? Is it over here? I think it's over here. This took me so long in season two. We've got a helm and tank legs. What? What? I, I'm, I'm absolutely, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. What? 3kc? We have a helm and tank legs. If we can pull a carol's top, then fucking we're done. What? Wow. Wow. I am... I am in shock. I am in shock. What the fuck is going on? RNG blessing me hard. Um, as I was trying to say, I'm just um, I'm just running out the crypts now. It's just way quicker, um, and I'm just trying to work out what the uh, food to potion ratio should be. But wow, I I love you, Barrows. I love you massively. Right here we go, guys. It's another chest, and we don't get the uh, the body yet. <laughs> Uh, we'll go for one more chest before we go out of here. Uh, I've started marking the tile so it's a bit easier to see where I need to go. Um, so that's helped a little bit. We are a little bit low on food, but we'll give it a go. Because I do want to see if we can get three. I think I brought too many prayer pots. Well, obviously I did. So bring a few more uh, foods. Oh, I can't get this way, can I? Bring a few more foods. Um, and then we can probably do like maybe four, five maybe on a good run six without having to leave um so yeah that's probably what i'm gonna go ahead and do and try and pull off but uh yeah we're, we're looking good we're looking good i'm buzzing i'm i'm just absolutely buzzing with this and i know team link are gonna be over the moon team rug are gonna absolutely hate me for this episode but you know don't hate the player hate the game you know all right let's see what we get another chest coming up Death runes. Okay, I got so lucky. I don't even know if I should really ever expect anything ever again. I just use all my RNG for the rest of the series. Oh, man. All right. I don't know what chest this is anymore, guys. And ah, it's a lot of chaos runes. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I think this is chest number 15. Let's get something good. Oh, my God. What the fuck is going on, dude? What the fuck is going What the fuck? I are... I, what? 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 Team Rarg. Team Rarg. Team Rarg. Team Rarg. Team Rarg. What do we do with this? What, 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 what do we do with this? I mean, this doesn't really change our current plan because this is effectively the same as a Torag play body. And I can't even wear this, so that's out of the question. I don't have 70 magic. But what is the what is the luck? I have gotten I think six items in fifteen chests. Um, I, <laughs> I'm just not used to being this lucky. I I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. There's no legs though. Like I know I'm getting so lucky, and I know I'm being so nitpicky, but this honestly changes nothing. What? <laughs> Two double chests. <laughs> With 23 minutes left. Oh my god, man. Okay, okay. Back to back. Back to back? Dude, 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 dude. Bro, what the fuck? No, hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. No, dude. What? What? I, I, I'm shaking. I'm shaking, guys. That's, like, I, I, that's, I, I said I wanted that. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to act. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I am fucking shaking. I don't even know which way to get back to the fucking Barrows tunnel entrance thing. What? What? <laughs> I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I, I mean, we could still do another chest. I have to get food, and I. Uh, how much time do I have on the teleport? A minute. Okay, so I'll have I'll, I'll I'll have the telly to get food. I don't even know what to say right now, guys. That is exactly what I wanted. That's incredible. I'm sorry, Link. I'm sorry. All all my past RNG, uh, is finally paying off. It's finally leveling out. I I just want to scream right now i just want to fucking scream oh just give me a minute all we have to do is do one more chest and get food we can't walk back soon so i'm just gonna take a second to breathe man right here we go another chest come on tank body no nope 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 um guys i've had a little think i don't think i need to really go for any more chests right now I really don't. So you know what? I'm actually going to send a Varrock Telly. Could have done... Probably that would have been the last anyway. We only had one food. I think I need to focus on getting 70 defense now. I think that's what I need to do. Also, uh, we keep getting our agility put down. Um, and it means that I'm going to have to suicide sometimes. Um, after a few chests. And just like Telly to Varrock or Lumbridge or whatever. And just get myself killed. Um, because I think I can do that quickly going into the Lumbridge basement and letting the bugs kill me or whatever with no light source, uh, just so we can get this agility back. So, yeah, a little spanner to the plan there. But, um, yeah, I think I just need to focus on getting 70 defense. Obviously, I'm not going to do it this episode, but realistically, just quickly, I might as well. Like, if I'm wearing the Torag helm, the Verrick body, and a red dehyde body, or the Verrick, the Verrick skirt, sorry, and a red dehyde body... That is going to massively destroy Kins. Um, anyway, I don't even know if I'd wear a tank body for that. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to spend an hour here just getting defense XP. Um, main reason for this is Dragon Bones. I need to start working on this prayer level. Uh, it needs to start going up. Um, because I want to go for, obviously, piety, etc. Um, so yeah, that, that's the main reason I'm here. I was thinking about doing green dragons, but I still don't have a, uh, anti-dragon fire shield. Um, which is super annoying, because otherwise I would have just gone, you know, to the wildy and done it there. But I need to get defense XP. I can't just sit there ranging. Like, at the moment, my range is 71. I do not need that at all. Um, we just need the defense XP. So I'll go here, hopefully get some grubby keys. I know the grubby keys don't, don't matter, um, for the fights anymore, but we could still get, like, brews, uh, dragon bones, etc. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it's just a case of getting 70 defense now, guys, really. Right, guys, this is gonna be 66 defense coming in. I did get a couple grubby keys. Boom. Let's, uh, open them up. I do have one in the bank as well. But, um, you know, they don't really matter that much. It's more for the final, final stages now. But, uh, yeah, let's open them both up and see what we get. And then that is gonna be me done. Already got Karam ones, already got recoils. So, we're all good. Ooh, hoo, hoo, dragon bones. Yes. That's what we want to see. Some egg potatoes. Would have loved to have seen some sharks. But, uh, uh, yeah, let's open it anyway. No sharks. No. But we do get a ranging potion. We do get a super defense. Uh, and what's that? Toad flax. Mm, not great. Not great. But if I want to do the fight caves, I can definitely use these uh, th this two dose for the fight caves, which might be useful. So uh, there we go. I can't imagine possibly getting something else. I said that every time, but um, we're going to open it up one more time for the last of the episode. Okay. Yeah, dude. I, I don't know if I could have taken one more, man. My, my, my heart is, is feeling <laughs> too full at the moment. Um, so for the next seven minutes, guys, there's really not too much to do. I just need to buy food. I'll next see you guys when we're looking at our gear setup. I cannot believe it, guys. We are going in as a tank range. With this setup, we're actually taking a hit in our range accuracy here. 
But our range defense and our slash defense is through the roof. Even with magic defense, it's pretty high. Let's see, if I take off the plate body, I probably wouldn't take it off unless he's just going magic in the fight. But 50 magic defense with the plate body off. I cannot believe my luck. I'm going to go in, three prayer pots, of course, we now have the ranging, the super defense, the recoils, and just try to tank anything he throws at me, and we're going to just chip away at his health. We're going to focus on those prayer switches. The last fight was really close, so I want to say if he has a similar setup, I there's no reason I should not win this. However, with that said, Link could... Of course, have gotten 70 defense and could have also done Barrow. So I don't want to get too excited. Just because I got lucky doesn't mean he couldn't have also gotten lucky. Uh, to be honest, his plate body, if he got something like a Torag or Darok plate body, it's a huge difference, but it wouldn't be as detrimental as, say, like Torag plate legs or Varric's plate skirt, because he only has Rune in that slot. And... It it that that would definitely be painful to hit through if he if he was gifted one of those. Um, so I don't want to get my hopes up too much. Even though I was incredibly lucky, I'm only using two of these pieces here. So yeah, guys, I'm ready to hop in this fight, and you know what? We'll see it. Either we're gifted with the RNG or we're not. We'll see just how lucky I really am. Also brought the anti poison because I didn't want to lose this fight due to making a bad call see you in the fight guys after you know what i'm just gonna do a little bit more defense training might as well um and then yeah oh and i've attacked the one that we attacked earlier as well so we will hopefully get a drop here hopefully some gp or something um we also got ourselves an hp level we also got ourselves a prayer level um i was doing the dragons until that literally last 100 xp or whatever i needed uh, but i just came over here because we could do the grubby keys so yeah we uh we're looking pretty good pretty good this should be the kill coming in as well bit of gp extra 5k there we will take it okay let's get out of here and i will show you my setup unfortunately it's not going to be too different because uh we don't have that 70 defense but as soon as we have it oh my god the legs the helm they're gonna look amazing all right, Beats of Jesus, this is what we're going to be going for. Uh, straight range. I'm going to be wearing the RD cape just because it gives a little prayer bonus so we can keep our prayers on a little more. I'm also bringing an extra prayer pot uh, because we keep running out of prayer at the end of the fights and then someone just gets like 22s and 25 hits. And I think this is way worth a food. Um, so bringing an extra pot to stop that. Super defense, raging pot, no dagger. I think he will bring an anti-poison. Two recoils and Karam ones, pretty standard. Um, just like last episode, where I didn't have them all in my inventory, and a load of you were like, Link was always going to bring them all, and then realised he didn't have 60 strength. No. In my reveal at the bank, I did not have them all, and just like that, I'm going to bring the Guthans Helm, or the Torag's Helm, and the uh, the Verex Plate Skirt to the reveal, just to trade it to him and show it to him, but I'm not bringing it to the fight. So, let's get into it. Link, another episode has come and gone, and we are here again for another fight. So I'm just going to straight up ask you, man, how do you feel about your last four? Um, like 9.9 .9 out of 10. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, somebody went to Barrows then. Fuck. I had an episode and a half. Everything I wanted to get done got done. Oh. We treated ourselves, you know, the XP that we got from the last win was super useful. You know, I'm I'm buzzing, oh. mate. I'm buzzing. I won't lie. How about you? I mean, I was feeling pretty good until you just had, you said, dude, 9.9 9 out of 10. You, you can't get better than that because I feel like we'll never, ever give a 10 out of 10. So like you can't have a 10. Yeah. So that, that is the ceiling I've just hit. Yeah. So... Well, I am not a 9.9 .9 out of 10, I'll tell you that. All right, you know. dude. Um, Let's do a combat level reveal, and then we'll hop mm. into our skills. Easy. On go. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. Ooh. You okay. went up one level? I think. You've gone up a lot. Three or two? I think I went up two, but I'm really not sure, if I'm being honest. Right, yeah. 
Wow. Nice, okay. Okay. So his XP went into something. What did it go into, though? What do you think? Before you look, what's your guess? Magic or defense? One of the two. I'm not sure out of the two. I'm going to say you put yours in... Uh, uh, I'm still going to say defense. I'm going to say you probably didn't gain enough levels for defense, but I... I'm going to say you put yours in defense. Link, I'm going to look uh, you up, man. Uh, no, you did... Wait, you went up one level. You went up one level. I think you were 65, because we were both 65. Yeah, I did a bit of defense training in this episode. 71 fucking range. You have higher like, range than I do. I was like, if I what? can edge you in the range, if I can edge you in the range here, then it's then it's anyone's game. So I was like, wow. I'll go to 71. I put all 300k into range, mate. Wow. Every single bit of XP went into range. Fuck's sake, um, dude. Yeah, you're higher than me now. Holy shit. That's kind of so, scary. And deep. Oh, 70 defense. Dude, it got me to 69. I had to do some training during the episode. It didn't get me there. There. Uh, I think I got a prayer level, a defense level, and an HP level. I think that's what I got in the actual time. Wow, he does have 70 HP. Shit. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's much else to report on, to be honest. Let's not waste any time. Give me an item, or an item slot, I should say, and we will start with a reveal. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. Uh, cape. Ooh, Capey boy. He wants to flex a new obsidian cloak? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's that's different though. Got the prayer bonus. So, that is yeah. different. That is different. All right, all right. I think it gives magic too. Like it gives defense. magic and stab, defense and attack, wow. and it gives um a two prayer bonus. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go shield because I know you want to upgrade your shield. I want to upgrade mm. my shield. Let's just go shield. Yeah. Didn't happen for me. I'm guessing you did. No. Oh wow. Okay. No, dude. Did you did you try? Uh no. No, okay. no, I did not try this episode. Seventy defense is the priority, I guess. Uh let's go necklace, mate. Rocky and the power. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go helm. Let's go helm. The rune. Uh body, mate. The body, he asks. Oh, you sound happy. The body he asks. You sound happy. If that's a Carol's, I'm about to Chat. fucking lose it. Chat. Which one should I put on? We're first? not. We're not live, kids. It's fucking. <laughs> it's a comment section, not chat. You cheeky fucker. <laughs> oh fuck off. What's he got? Comment section. Which one should I put on? Like the video if you think Kins is a bell end. Fuck's sake. Wow. Which one? So you've got... Do not say you've got Carol's there as well. All right, these I brought... Actually, we'll talk after. I'm I, I'm going to do my gear, and then we'll go into everything else. <laughs> What's the other one? You have to show both tops. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Oh, you are shitting me. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, I I'm just bringing the one play body. Yeah, yeah. The, the others obviously. are just a flex. <laughs> I mean, unless Team Rog wanna wanna go at you as well for bringing that. Oh, they had a no. fucking field day at me for bringing the wall to show it to you, saying he was gonna bring it. <laughs> no. Uh, let's go legs, mate. Ah, uh, wait. I'm picking. I'm picking. Oh. I'm picking. Oh, wow. oh god, wow. has he got legs as well? Fuck off. Uh, You've. I got mean, do do, do you want to go legs? Is that you saying put legs? All on? right, well, then we'll do legs. Ladies and gentlemen, you've got to be. We got him. Jesus Christ. Jesus we Christ. We got him. We fucking. Yeah. Got him. What's the fuck? How many chests have you done? Seventeen. <laughs> I did seventeen. You, chests. you dude. Wow. Wait, I got three more items, Link. We're not even done there, man. Oh my god! Right. <laughs> Gloves. Uh, How is he not a nine point nine? <laughs> How is I a nine point nine? I don't know. You tell me. How are wow. you a nine point nine? Wow. Okay, you're fake, mate. Boots. Okay. I just have a weapon and recoil. Same. Okay. Well, it's surely he's got a different weapon or something, or he's hybriding because 
Uh, what else is there to your setup, Link? Um, nothing, mate. Except from let me let me trade you it because I can't actually uh put it on. Oh my god! <laughs> Obviously, don't have so many defense yet, but I am. Buzzing. Wow! Two, talk about two, spoon fed. Two items in. I thought four or five I chests. was spoon fed. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I think I've done five chests, maybe more, maybe six. I don't know, something like that. And yeah, first chest with the Torag helm. Third chest with the Varric plate skull. Oh fuck's sake! <laughs> Oh, at least you can't wear that now. Yeah. So when Ooh. I said I was, when I said I was confident, I didn't feel confident for this episode, but I feel confident going ahead with those two items. Oh, dude, I'm still thinking about that Barrows, man. Still mm. thinking about you. You got literally two of the best slots you could get. Honestly, yeah. I would much rather get tank legs than a tank body, and I got three fucking. Of what's those. your uh, <laughs> What's your plan? Are you done, or are you gonna go back? Uh, no, I am definitely going back. I right. am definitely going back. If it's gonna be next episode, I don't know, but I, I will definitely be back at Barrows. Right. Yeah. Four. Wow. Four. Is that because we always prayer. fucking run out and shit? I think the drop prayer is worth it because if if one of us hits a twenty. That's one food anyway, if you hit them off prey, you know? That's so That's true. Um, yeah. What's that? Didn't bring the dagger. You got Come me. On. Yes. Yes. You yes, got yes, me. Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, pretty standard. Pretty standard there. Uh your two second warning starts now, so we will start being potty boys. Ooh, so ooh, okay. Conversation like that last time. Here <laughs> we go. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. Ah. Start off with the first hit. Oh, okay. Okay. And the third Probably hit. about equal. Ooh. Ooh. Not anymore. Okay, yes. Wow. Hit. <laughs> wow. Okay, he's hitting it. This, it's this. the Addy Kite. It's the Addy Kite. I hate She's this thing. She's letting you down. She's letting you down. Oh, mate. I hate this fucking Addy Kite. It's such a little shit. <laughs> it's such a little shit, dude. You're doing okay over there, dude. <laughs> no, man, because I don't know how you're hitting so much. Fuck. Looking at my stats, I was a tank, dude. If you win, oh. if you win this, genuinely, <laughs> I know I, I I'm just throwing the towel. Not I really. I know with 71 range, the main reason I went for it is you do get a max hit with a ranging pot and praying from 70 to 71. Ah. So I was like, I was like, it's probably worth it. Ooh, he's hitting hard. I mean, fair, That's but I, I was thinking opposite. I was just thinking, just be a tank. Like, if, yeah, if, yeah. if I out-tank him, I win. Sort of vibe is what I was going mm. for. Oh, oh, he's hitting, come on, though. another hit, another hit. Oh, yes. We are hitting. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. All right. There's, oh, there's a hit back. There's a hit back. Wow. Can we get just a few more? Okay, four is a four. I'll take a four. That is true. That is true. A four is a four. Truer words have never been said. <sighs> Come on. Let's see a nice 16. That's a zero. That's the wrong one. Come on. 16. Now times that zero Fuck. by 16. Still got so zero. Just, well, yeah, that's that's my point. You're hitting zeros. I'm I'm going to prove you wrong in a minute, though, Ken. In you a that. minute? Well, I sure hope you hit in a minute. Fuck. It's 13. <laughs> Oh, hits everywhere. How's he hit oh, so much? Oh, there's the 16. Come on. Okay. Don't piss about. Oh, dude, what the fuck, man? Come on, come on. All right. How's he hitting so much? Like, yeah, your range is higher, but so is my defense <laughs> and my armor. He's fuming over there. Zero fest. I feel like there's loads of hits, then there's just a zero fest. Look, like that. Fuck me. Well, I'm breaking that. Breaking boundaries over here. Here's the comeback. A bit of boundary break from Kins. Come on, hit. <laughs> boundary break. If you never watched that on YouTube. No, but that's my season five my... name, so. Shout out to my boy, She Says. What a fucking show he had puts on, mate. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna ask, Link. I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Don't ask. We'll just keep hitting. I'm sure we'll get someone in the comment uh, section saying, yep, yeah, big fan. Oh, yes. Right, and again. Let's just, see. let's just see. Come on. Wally's an eaty boy. Am I in rapid? I am. Okay. I was going to say, like, this doesn't seem right. I feel like something's uh, wrong. Am I doing I something like wrong? Yeah, well, I would have definitely known. I mean, we're attacking the same speed, so you would have been on accurate, too. Yeah. Hmm. We can have an accurate fight if you want, mate. Slow it down even more. I honestly, <laughs> no thanks. I'll pass. Appreciate the offer, though, man. Come on. Okay. I am a bit surprised I'm not a bit more tanky. My defense bonuses, I mean, obviously, are much higher. I feel like you've you hit You know more. how much higher? I don't, but it's it's like 240, and I wasn't close to 200 last time, so like right. it's significant. It's not like it's I went up 20. at least. Probably, yeah. Come on. Where them hits at? Come on. This is tense, mate. Oh, that's so huge. Come on, another one, another one. In the in the in the name of the Lord DJ Khalid. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Yes. 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 What the heck? This is going to be close, Kins. This is going to be close, mate. It shouldn't be. That's what's bothering me. I though, do like. sort of agree it shouldn't be. But then is it going to be close? Maybe it's just it feels close, you know? We'll see. Come on. I want to see a 16. Zero first. You ain't kidding, bro. You ain't kidding. Fuck. Come on. Yes. Oh, there's the 16. Oh, fuck's sake. Of course he pulls a 13. <sighs> That's painful. Oh. Play time, power play time. Come on, big hits, big hits. Don't want to see what happened to Kins last week. Oh, come on, don't you fucking dare. Where the twenties? Both not hitting. Ooh. Wow. 
I, 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 I don't see how you won that. I, I, I don't get it. How much food? food? Two food. How do you have two food left? And I didn't drain all my pots either. I have no idea how I lost that. I really don't. All right, Beezer Jeez. Do not understand that at all. I have no idea how I've won. I didn't even drink all my pots. I could have drank more range of defense. Like, I have no idea. Like, insane. He He's flabbergasted as well. But I'm fucking buzzing, because it means as soon as we get this Torag Helm and, and Verix plate skirt, we're, we're looking really, really good. Let's spin. Let's see where we're going. Hopefully it connects and we can and we can go ahead and, you know, do our plan and stuff. But we will see. Generate 445. Where the hell is that? Honestly, I'm not. I uh, CBA to think about it right now. I'm just going to I'm just going to find my next uh, place. 241, 241. Right. OK, cool. See you guys in the next episode. I, pff, I'm too defeated to even talk about this. Right, let's have a look. 445. Oh, <laughs> you naughty thing. Yes. We've already got that chunk. We've already got that chunk. So it is a straight up six choice. That is perfect for the plan. So, so good. It connects to loads of stuff that we need. You know, obviously it connects to our big land mass, as Kins calls it. So we can just literally go and pick six anywhere. Very, very cool. Right, guys, I do just want to say real quick that any barrows that is broken during these fights does automatically get repaired for next episode. It'll apply to any barrows piece going forward. Um, Link, congrats. Um, I, 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 we just I, ran I mean, the numbers and yeah. <laughs> like it shouldn't have been close, like the other way around. So I yeah. don't know if I just got incredibly unlucky or if that thing is wrong or we're all idiots. <laughs> I think you got unlucky, mate. There's no way. Uh, There's no way. There's no way I should have won that. It's but, just know, the fact that you have a Torag helm and a Varric skirt ready. You know, like, I, I I, needed this win to prove I'm worthy, and now I'm fucking... I, I don't even know what I'm... I don't even know what to think. Uh, I so, feel for you, mate. I do. So we're going to end it there. Congrats, Link. 100k in any skill that you want, and 75k in any skill that I want. There is no restrictions. Combat, non-combat anywhere you want, man. And we'll see right. him on Thursday.